Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another amazing session on Vedantu Young Wonders. This is your master teacher Hari Priya, and today we are going to play with the numbers. So do not forget to like this video, share this video, and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And today's topic is going to be playing with numbers, where I will be doing the entire chapter, and we will be solving a lot of important questions as well. So let us get started. तो आज के सेशन में हम लोग क्या क्या सीखने वाले हैं? रिवाइज व्हाट आर फैक्टर्स, मल्टीपल्स, डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्राइम एंड कॉम्पोजिट नंबर्स, डिविजिबिलिटी रूल्स व्हिच आर सुपर डुपर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉमन फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स, द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन how to find lcm and hcf and what is the relationship between them so let's get started with the first topic what are factors factors of a particular number is an exact divisor of that number for example if i take the number 24 now 24 can be written as 1 into 24 or 2 into 12 or 3 into 8 or 4 into 6 so this 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24, what are they? They are the factors of the number 24. Why? Because when I divide 24 by any of these numbers, I will get the reminder as 0. If I divide 24 by 3, the quotient will be 8. But the reminder will be 0. So when the reminder is 0, you can say that 3 is an exact divisor of 24. That implies 3 is a factor of 24. Like for example, 6 is also a factor of 24. 8 is factor of 24 and so on. Now what are the properties of a factor? First of all, 1 is a factor of every number. You take whatever number you want in the universe, one will always be a factor. And every number is a factor of itself. Now, when I took the example of 24, I have written 24 as 1 multiplied with 24. So, 1 has become a factor and the number itself, that is 24, also became a factor. And every factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number. What does that mean? That when you divide a number by its factors, the reminder is zero. Exact divisor ka yehi matlab hota hai ki jab aap dun dono ko divide karte ho, to you get the reminder to be zero, which is our hero. And every factor is less than or equal to the given number. Now, jahan pe humne dekha tha 24 ka example, to 24 ke factors kya tha yaha pe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. To ye jo list of factors yaha pe the, every number is either less than 24 or equal to 24. 8 less than 24, 12 less than 24, 2 less than 24, 24 equal to 24. So the list of factors of a number are either less than the number or equal to the number. It can't be greater than the number. Never can be the can be greater than the number. And the number of factors are finite. Finite matlab aap unko count kar sakte ho. Countable. So, when I took the factors of 24, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 factors of the number 24. You can actually count them. So, factors are countable. And then comes our multiples. Multiples are nothing but the tables that we learn. A multiple of a natural number is the product of that number by any non-zero whole number. Basically, any other natural number. Agar mene le liya number 6. If I want to know the multiple of 6, multiples of 6, so I will multiply 6 with all the natural numbers. 6 into 1, 6 into 2, 6 into 3, 6 into 4, jo ki hamare tables hai. So the answer that you will be getting, the 6, 12, 18, 24, jo aapko answer aa hai, after you multiply 6 with all the natural numbers, the answer that you are getting, these answers are the list of multiples of the number 6. Now, if I say write down the multiples of 
5. So you should start with 5 into 1, 5 multiplied with 2, 5 multiplied with 3, 5 multiplied with 4, and so on. The list keeps on going. So these 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Unko hum bolte hain multiples of the number 5. So it can be any number. You just take that number and multiply it with all the natural numbers. A number is a multiple of its factors. Iska kya matlab hota hai? To ek number lete hai. Chalo hum lete hai 30. So what are the factors of 30? 1, 2, 3, 10, 15, and 30. Now you can write 30. Oh, there's 6 also by the way. Now you can write your 30. Oh, 5 also by the way. <laughs> now you can write your 30 as 6 multiplied with 5. So a multiple can be written as the product of its factors. Yaha pe bhi humne 24 ko we have written as the product of its factors 3 into 8, 2 into 12, 1 into 4. And so on. So a number is a or is a multiple of its factors. Now multiples ke jo properties hai, wo kya hai? A number is a multiple of each of its factor. Agar ek number hai, chalo lete, chota sa number lete, six. What are the factors? One, two, three, and six. So ye jo hamara hero hai yahan pe six. This number is a multiple of each of the factor. Matlab, it is a multiple of 2. When you multiply 2 with 3, you get 6. It's a multiple of 3 also. When you multiply 3 with 2, you are getting 6. So, a number is a multiple of every factor. And every multiple of the number is greater than or equal to the number. Yaha pe we saw the multiples of the number 6. So, jo answer hame aaya, 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 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. These are multiples. And when you look at them very closely, they are either greater than 6 or equal to 6. So, every multiple of a number is either greater than a number or equal to a number. And the number of multiples of a given number are infinite. Infinite ka matlab kya hota hai? Infinite is countless. You cannot count them. Kyun? Kyunki ye jo amara 6 table hai, kya yaha pe end hota hai? No. 6 into 11, 6 into 12, 6 into 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The list keeps on going. So since the numbers list keeps on going, you can see that the multiples are infinite and every number is a multiple of itself. 6 is a multiple of 6 and so on. Now what is a perfect number? A number for which sum of all its factors is equal to twice the number is called as a perfect number. For example, let's take 6. Ab 6 ka factors kya hai? 1, 2, 3, and 6. So when I count, when I add all the factors other than 6, okay, all the factors of 6 other than 6, what am I getting? 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is again equal to 6, right? So these are called our perfect numbers. 28 ke factors kya hai? 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. So except for the number itself, add the sum. Find the sum of the other factors of 28. Like 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14. Apko kya hai? You will get 28. So that's why 28 is also a perfect number. And then comes our prime number. Now a number with only two factors. 1 and the number itself is called as a prime number. It has no other factor. Only two factors. 1 and the number itself. And then we have composite numbers, which are opposite of prime numbers. Hai. Now, what are composite numbers? These numbers have more than two factors. For example, 9. What are the factors? 1, 3, and 9. So, apart from 1 and the number itself, a core factor is 3. 
So that is why your 9 is a composite number. What about 10? 1, 2, 5 and 10. So apart from 1 and the number itself which is 10, there are two other factors of 10. So 10 is a composite number. Prime number mein bas do hi factors hai. Kya hai? 1 and the number itself. When it comes to composite numbers, they will have more than two factors. It can be 3, 4, 5, 6 or so on. Now what are odd and even numbers? Why are we learning this? I'll tell you. You all know the definition of an even number. If it is ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, it's an even number. If it is ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, it has to be an odd number. Now let's try to find out the divisibility rules of these even and odd numbers. The first one we're going to talk about is the number 2, right? Now if a number is an even number ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, you just have to be blindly saying hey, yes that number is divisible by 2. So every even number is divisible by 2. What about 3? If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the entire number is divisible by 3. For example, let's take 636. Okay, sorry, 363, not 636, 363. Now, I want to find out if this number is divisible by 3 or not. So, what will I do? I will add every digit of the number. 6 plus 3 plus 3. 9 plus 3. 12. Is 12 divisible by 2 or by 3? Yes. 4 into 3 is 12. It's completely divisible. So, ye jo bada number hai paas, 363, wo bhi 3 ke saath divisible hai. Why? Because the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Now, what about the number 4? If the last two digits are divisible by 4, the entire number is divisible by 4. For example, 3, 7, 1, 2, 4. Now, 37,124 may last two digits. Kaun se hai? The last two digits here are 24. Now, is 24 a multiple of 4 or divisible by 4? Yes. 4 multiplied with 6 is 24. Hai na? So, if the last two digits are divisible by 4, the entire number will be divisible by 4. And then comes divisibility rule for 5. Agar last two digit, last two ne, last digit 0 ya 5 hoga, then the entire number will be divisible by 5. And then comes our 6. Now 2 multiplied with 3 is giving you 6, right? So, remember this. Why? Because the divisibility rule for 6 is, so 6 ke socho, aise socho, 6 ke mummy, papa, 2 or 3 hai. Agar mummy ne bhi haa bol diya, papa ne bhi haa bol diya, tab 6 bhi haa bolega. Hai na? That means, if a number is divisible by 2, is divisible by 3, then it is also divisible by 6. But remember, dono mummy papa ko haan bolna chahiye, tabhi aap ghar se bahar nikal sakte ho, hai na? So if a number is not divisible by 2 or not divisible by 3, then it is not divisible by 6. For example, if I take 3, 6, 1, 5. Now, ye jo number hai, ye 3 ke saath pata nahi, but 2 ke saath bilkul divisible nahi hai, kyunki ye odd number hai. So 2 ke saath divisible kaise ho sakta hai, right? So, it is not divisible by 2. That means it is not divisible by 6 also. Now, if last 3 digits are divisible by 8, the entire number will be divisible by 8. 4 ke liye kya tha? Hamne last 2 digits dekhi thai. Yaad hai? Now, for 8, we will check out the last 3 digits. If the last 3 digits are divisible by 8, the entire number will be divisible by 8. 8. And jo ye 3 or 9 hai, inka same same hai almost. 3 ka kya tha? We added every digit of that number to check if the sum is divisible by 3 or not. Hai na? To 9 ke saad bhi hum same karenge. We will add every digit of that number. 
If the final answer is divisible by 9, the entire number will be divisible by 9. For example, 7, 3, 1, 6, 4, uh, 7. Okay. So, let's add every digit. 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 4 plus 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 7 plus 1, 8. 10 plus 10 plus 8 is giving you 28. Is 28 divisible by 9? No. So, this entire number will not be divisible by 9. Okay? Or 10 ka hai, the last digit has to be 0. If the last digit is 0, hai, then it is divisible by 5. It is also divisible by 10. But the rule for 10 is, the last digit has to be 0. And then we have for 7 and 11. 7 ki ye dikkat hai ki ye sare numbers pe apply nahi hota hai. But let's just learn. Cross off the last digit, double it and subtract. Repeat if you want. If you know that the number is divisible by 7, then the original number is divisible by 7. Iska kya matlab hai? So let's take 372. Okay. Now cross off the last digit and double it. So double kya hoga yaan pe? 4. And subtract. 7 minus 4 will give you 3. Is 33 divisible by 7? No. So, 372 also won't be divisible by 7. That's what the rule says. And then we have 11. So, for example, 7, 6, 4, 3, 7, 5. Okay? Now, for divisibility rule of 11, you have to add the alternate digits. So, I'll be adding 7 plus 4 plus 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 4 will give you 18. And then I will add the remaining digits. 6, 3 and 5. So, 6 plus 3 plus 5. 6 plus 3 will give you 9. 9 plus 5 will give you 14. So, hamare paas hai numbers 18 and 14. Now, let's subtract them. The answer is 4. Is 4 divisible by 11? No. That means this entire number is not divisible by 11. After you subtract them, if you have 0, ya 11, ya 22, ya 33, ya 44, basically a multiple of 11, if you get after subtracting, then the entire number will be divisible by 11. And then we have common factors and common multiples. Now, what are common factors? Common factor is, now, let's list out the factors of 30 and 42. Now, 30 ke factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. And 42 ke factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21 and 42. So, what are the factors here? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. They are also common. 6 and 6. So, the common factors here are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Similarly, you will also have common multiples. Now, if I have to list down the multiples of 3 and 4, you can clearly see there are few numbers in common like 12, 24, 36. So, these are called as common multiples. But we are common factors and multiples because we will use this in our LCM and HCF concept. You also have to know about what are co-prime numbers. Now, two numbers which only common factor is 1, they are called as co-prime numbers. For example, 5 and 9. So, here when you see the factors of 5, 1 and 5. Factors of 9, 1, 3 and 9. So, here the common factor kya hai inka? Dono ka common factor hai 1. Hai na? So, the highest common factor and the only common factor they have is 1. So, I can say that 5 and 9 are co-prime numbers. Uske baad aata hai humara concept of factorization. Ek number ko... If we can write it as the product of its factors, if, are, if we can write a number as the product of its factors, you can say that process is called as 
factorization. Okay, so it can be done by factor tree method or long division method. Factor tree method ka matlab kya hai? Now, if I give you 128, okay, 128 can be written as 8 multiplied with 16. 8 can again be written as 2 multiplied with 4. 16 can be written as 4 multiplied with 4. 4 can again be written as 2 into 2, right? So, like that, the, the factor tree, the factorization keeps on happening till you can write your 128. Is it 128 or 108? Um, 12, it's 128. So, the, the factorization keeps happening till you can write the number as the product of prime factors. And that's what we call as prime factorization, where we can write a number, express a number as the product of its prime factors. Please remember that. The 48 ko me lik sakti 8 multiplied with 6. But 8 and 6 are not prime factors. They are not prime numbers, right? So, I will further write my 8 as 4 multiplied with 2. And I will further write my 6 as 2 multiplied with 3. Now, 4 can further be written as 2 into 2. So, I have written it as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So, this 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 or 3 hai, ye kya hai? Ye hamare prime factors hai, right? So, we can, we, can, we just wrote 48 as the product of its prime numbers. So, this process is called as prime factorization. And the most common one that we use is the repeated division or you can say the long division here. Okay. Ye aapne already seekha hoga. We are going to do it. So, let's take the number 144. Okay. So, how can we Now, this is clearly divisible by 2. Now, when you are doing your long division, you should check if the number is divisible by 2. If yes, divide with 2. You get 72. Is 72 divisible by 2? 2 is the per first prime factor. Yes. So, divide by 2. 36 is divisible. 12 is also divisible. 6 is also divisible. But 3 is not divisible by 2. So, hum kya karenge? we will take help of the next prime number which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 will give you 1. So, 144 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay. So, this process is called as prime factorization and this method is called as the repeated division or the long division. And where are we going to use that? We will be using that in finding our HCF and LCF. HCF ko hum bolte hai aur ye bhi bol sakte hai GCD, greatest common divisor or highest common factor. Now, if I give you two numbers, 12 and 16, and if I list down all the factors of 12, all the factors of 16, so here are some common numbers. Hai. 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. So, these 1, 2, 4, they are common factors. But what do we need? We need the highest common factor. In common factors, we have a number which is the biggest. So, out of that, 4 is the highest number. The value of 4 is greater than 1 or 2. So, you can say that 4 is the GCD or 4 is the HCF of 12 and 16. Vaise hi, we have our LCM, least common multiple. So, here we will list down the multiples of two numbers. For example, here I have written multiples of 3 and multiples of 5. So, here which number is common here? You can see 30 also which is common. You can see 15 also common. But what do we need? The smallest number which is common multiple. Ho. So, the smallest number which is common in both of them is 15. So, the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Now, what is this relationship between HCF and LCM? Now, if I take two numbers M and M, so the product of the two numbers is equal to the product of their LCM and HCF. We will be doing a problem on it. Don't worry. 
Let's get started with the problem. Write the largest four digit number and give its prime factorization. What is the largest four digit number? 9999. So, we will prime factorization karenge using long division. The first prime factor we have is 2. Is it divisible by 2? No. Why? Because it is an even number. So, we will go with 3. The next prime factor, prime number. Okay. Is 9999 divisible by 3? Yes. You have 3, 3, 3, and 3. Now, what about this number? Is it divisible by 3? Yes. 1, 1, 1, and 1. Now, this number is not divisible by 3. It's not divisible by 5. Not divisible by 7. Uske baad next prime factor is 11. Is it divisible by 11? How do you check? 1, 1, 1. Add the alternate numbers. 1 plus 1, you get 2. Add the remaining alternate numbers. 1 plus 1, you are getting 2. What is 2 minus 2? 0. Since you are getting a 0, this is divisible by 11 then. So, 11, 1, 0, 1. And 1, 0, 1 itself is a prime number. So, your 9999, which is the greatest four-digit number, can be written as 3 into 3 into 11 into 1, 0, 1. Understood? So, this is how the prime factorization goes. Next, state whether the statements here are true or false. The HCF of two distinct prime numbers is 1. Two distinct ka matlab kya hota hai? Different. Now, if I take two different numbers, okay, the highest, so the two distinct prime numbers, then the highest common factor is 1. Of course. Why? Because koi bhi prime factor, prime number le lo. Okay. Uh, 20, uh, nahi, 22, nahi, 23 le lete. So, 1 and 23. So, the highest common factor will always be 1. So, the statement here is true. The highest common factor of two co-prime numbers is 1. Yes, that's the definition of co-prime numbers. The only common factor and the highest factor has to be 1. The HCF of two consecutive even numbers is 2. Let's take any consecutive even numbers. What do you mean by consecutive even numbers? Even numbers that come one after the other. Okay. For example, 24 and 26. They are consecutive. 24 ke baad, next even number is 26. So, what are the factors of 24? Let's list down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Hey na? What about 26? 1, 2, uh, 13 and 26. Now what are the common factors? We have 1, 2. 1, 2. Now in this case, there is no other common factor, right? So the highest common factor in this case is 2. It's two consecutive, yeah. So, in two consecutive even numbers, the highest common factor will always be two. So, the statement here is true. The HCF of two consecutive odd numbers is two? No. Odd number hai, to two is ka factor ho hi nahi sakta hai, right? So, the statement here will be false. So, the first three are two, true. And the last one's a false statement. Determine the LCM of the given numbers. So, LCM ke liye hum aur ek method bhi hai. Where you can find the LCM of the given numbers together at the same time. Okay? Sab ka ek baar mein ho sakta hai. Everybody is divisible here by 2. So, let's start with that. 90. Again, divisible by 2. 45. Um, this will be what? 96 and 36. Now, 45 is not divisible by 2, but 96 and 36 are. So, we should continue with 2. 45 ko hum disturb nahi karenge. Aise hi Okay. So, here will be 48. 
and here will be 18. I hope I'm doing it well. I'm doing it right. Okay, again 2. 45 is not divisible. We have 24 and 9. Now 24 is again divisible by 2, no? So you have to continue. 45, 12 and 9. Again divisible by 2. 45, 6 and 9. Now again divisible by 2. 45, 3 and 9. Now 45, 3 and 9, all of them are not divisible by three by 2. So we will go with 3. This will give you 15, 1 and 3. Divisible by 3. 5, 1 and 1. Now 5 is not divisible by 3. So we will go to the next one which is 5. 1, 1 and 1. So what will be the LCM of these three numbers? 2 into 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 3 into 3 into 5. So that is equal to 5760. The other method is finding individual LCM and taking all the copies. You know, here it is a little complicated. Why? Because see, 2 is common and the longest string of 2 is here. So we will write that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, 3 into 3, 3 into 3, 3. So, the longest is 3 into 3. So, we will write that. And then only 1, 5 is there. We are going to write that. So, here I guess students can make a mistake. That's why I would prefer this long division, continuous one, where I am finding the LCM of three numbers together. You will get marks for this one also. Do not worry. The LCM and HCF of two numbers are 180 and 6 respectively. Okay, so LCM is given as 180 and HCF is given as 6. If one number is 30, you have to find the other number. Now, what is the relation that we have between the numbers and LCM and HCF? The product of the two numbers is equal to the product of LCM and HCF. So we have 30 multiplied with B which is equal to 180 multiplied with 6. So your B is 180 multiplied with 6 divided by 30. So you can cancel 6 into 1, 6 into 5, 5 into 1, 5 into 36. So what is the other number? The other number is 36. Understood? With this, we have finished the entire chapter. Hope you have learned all of it and enjoyed it. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I am going to see you again in the next class. Bye-bye.